What is going on, fishing freaks? Thank you for tuning in today. Uh, first of all, let's get some things out of the way. Thank you so much for the tremendous support on the big announcements. Uh, the baby. The baby that does not have a name yet uh, that will be due in September, y'all. Um, thank you for all your support. Um, prayers, all that kind of good stuff. Just the good feeling vibes that you've sent out to me and Ocean Spoon Girl on the grams and here at the YouTube channel. Uh, anyways guys, we're going to be working really hard this year knowing that we got a baby on the way and also joining the Guggen Squad. Now this may be like huge news to some of you. A lot of you already kind of knew it was going to happen uh, because me and the Guggens have been doing videos for a long time together and working on other stuff uh, behind the scenes together to try to accomplish some common goals. So it's not, it's not really new for us. We're excited and everything, but um, it's pretty big news to a lot of you. So thank you guys for, uh, for sending out the good vibes on that as well. Woo! Things are happening. <sighs> Gotta get a sip of coffee here. Just to... Fuel the fire on all this madness. I'm actually getting ready to go do some more filming with a buddy of mine right now. I'm going to head out the door. But in between, also big thing going on, moving. We haven't quite, um, we haven't found a house yet. We haven't even moved out of our old house. We're kind of in that in-between stage. But we're moving stuff into storage and at my parents' house and stuff like that. Uh, and I have come across so much tackle, guys. Like, more than I thought I had. So what I have actually started before we get into today's actual thing, okay? I just want to tell you this, another exciting news. I have started a big box of stuff, okay? This is this is like just tackle stuff that I'm finding. I'm like, you know what? I don't need this anymore. It's too much, it's too much going on. It's already really heavy. Um, and I've already been uh, talking to the rest of the Guggens. We're probably gonna be doing like a group uh, giveaway or something with this. Everybody's got a bunch of tackle like this, but if not, definitely look for something on my channel when we get done moving, but I suspect that we'll all get together and do like a huge giveaway. Just know that that's going on during this move process. One of the perks of being a sub on this channel. And the other thing that I found was my very first worm bag. Okay, this thing has been around a long, long time. I probably got this bag probably a little over 15 years old, I'm gonna guess. And what these bags are designed to do is they hold your soft plastic bags of worms and stuff, all these things that you see behind me. You can organize all those into a little Ziploc. Um, it's a collection of Ziplocs into a, a fabric casing. And you just carry that around with you and that's all your plastics. Now, when I was uh, younger, I could fit everything in here. And I would, I would go pond hopping with this, and I would have a couple of tackle trays uh, like these that you see behind me here. So I'd have a couple of these, and then I'd have one of these. And then pretty much a couple of these and this would get me by. I had uh, just a couple of rod and reel combos, and that's all I needed. And over the years of progressing and just accumulating, as you guys saw, I mean, there's more in that that giveaway tray right now that there is in this bag. I just, I forgot about my little blue bag that carried my soft plastics. So I thought it'd be cool to unzip this thing together. Do a uh, do an old school worm bag unboxing, if you will. That title of this video will probably be something around there. But I kind of wanted to do a time hop in this and just see what I was throwing back then and really see what, uh, what my go-to baits were back then. There's probably gonna be some weird stuff in here. If you guys are interested, you can comment down below and I can, uh, I don't know, I can sign this and send this out or something like that. You know, I don't, I don't have much use for this thing anymore. And I know one of you fishing freaks out there would probably enjoy it. And you might even use the baits inside to catch a Mondo, who knows? Let's get into what's in this magical little blue bag that used to catch my basses and sniff them. By the way, guys, I, I, I realized that I've been wearing pretty much the same flannel and a lot of my thumbnails. I just realized that when I was uploading another video the other day. I've just been going hard in this thing. They are super warm, super comfy. This one actually has the fuzzies on the inside. You put that around your ears when you're on the water. Just walk around when it's cold and windy and it feels like a little snow squirrel on your ear balls. Ear balls, I don't know. That didn't make sense. 
The point is though, it does keep your face warm, and according to some circles, it's actually stylish. So, uh, freerangetradingpost.com, you can get that. And the coffee, let's first of all get a smell. The smell of Old Tackle is kind of mesmerizing to me. Oh gosh, woo! That one's got some pungent. Now, right off the bat, we have got some old school Yamamoto Senkos. Yamamoto, these are, these are not even Senkos, these are curl tails. All right, I've got some giant white old, when's the last time you saw a Yamamoto bag like that? Okay, and let's, let's just see how these things are. Okay, so look at this, look at this giant Senko right here. It, it, ugh. I, I guarantee you can still catch fish on this right here. I would probably use this like for bedding bass on fork, you know, where I could just see it. And this one right here, this is a black and chartreuse one. This would be like a night fishing deal, but they've bled into each other so much. What in the world? That's black and chartreuse. I, I don't think I've seen a color really like that um, ever since. Oh man, it looks like I've got some, whoa, here's some sh big old chartreuse pepper. Yamamoto Senkos. Y'all, look at, look at the vintageness of this bag. Look at that, boing. This is actually my favorite color for uh, East Texas lakes in the summertime. There's something about that. They just, they just get all over it. This guy I met one time that he gave me a bunch of stuff. Like he used to fish professionally and I felt like I hit the jackpot. He was done. He was like just a striper fisherman after that. And he was like, yeah, you boys, you boys need some tackle? I got some tackle for you. I used to fish the tear, and I got all this stuff, you know? There could be some more of that stuff in here. Let's check it out. Let's bring back some memories in the process. Oh yeah, here's another bed bait. We got uh, a pink. This is made by Kicker Fish Bait Company. I think they went out of business. But look at that, the old pink craw. Getting some bed fishing baits in here. Now here's a hog collar. It's got bang scent in it. The bag's falling apart. Now these are just the loose ones in here. Oh, also big black Cinco's, same thing. Oh, now this right here. I have caught so many fish on these. So many, especially fishing ponds. Between this and the uh, Lake Fork Trophy Lures Hyper Worm. This is the seven inch. I think they also have a five inch. Yeah, they do. I have it right behind me here. This smells like jelly. It was made by Mans. It smells delicious. It's called the Dragon Series. It's got a, literally has a dragon. Can we get a close up on that? Let's ask my camera guy that I don't have. Hey, the Dragon Series, baby. Look at that. A dragon holding a bass. How cool is that? So these right here, I would throw these in ponds uh, and just reel them along the side, kind of balance them. It kind of worked as like a spinner bait, you know, action slash. And you could also fish them on the bottom. Oh, here we go, baby. Look at this weird one. Oh, man. I guarantee this isn't made anymore. The six inch swim fin. I don't know what I was thinking of this. This is made by, by culprit. Look, it's like an eel. It's, it's, it's like a little eel. I feel like these all deserve close ups. Very strange. You know, some of these probably were like the result of uh, bargain bin shopping because I had no money and I would just go get stuff out of the bargain bin. Ooh, man, I went hard on the swim fins. Here's a June bug. Here's a June bug swim fin right here. Look at that, dude. This might be an interesting video to go and yeah, just fish these. Or I give them away. I give them away to you guys. You let me know. You let me know, I'm here for you. Oh my gosh, do you guys remember, do you guys remember 3X material? I used to think this was the, the deal for Carolina rigs. I don't know if it ever really was, but ooh, look at these crusties. Strike King had a, had a super floating 3X. I think they still have this out there, but this was when it first came out. You could stretch these things a mile. Like, look at that. Wow, it smells, smells like garlic. This stuff right here, really hard to get a hook through and like rigged. I think that's why it never really caught on. I mean, you could that, but you could definitely do some jazzercise or something. Not jazzercise, what's the thing? Use some yoga bands or something with those. Woo! Oh, we got some gulp, y'all. Oh, these are shriveled and crusty. Let me tell you. This is supposed to be a black minnow grub. Uh, and it's basically formed just a conglomerate of, uh, of little, it's like a school. It looks like a school of tadpoles at this time. 
not sure what I was thinking there. Kind of, kind of like some of the other stuff, but um, interesting nonetheless. Oh, and they smell like an Easter egg that's been just rotting out in the sun. Keep those in there for keepsake though. Oh, baby, we are going snapback right now. This is such a fun video. I'm enjoying this. Wow, these are unopened. Wow, I'm gonna, I'm gonna not open them. This is a snapback, super plastic. Got Skeet Reese on there. Get a, get a close up of Skeet Reese's face. Oh, look at this guy. Right on the SKU. Woo! That's Skeet Reese back in the day now. They were getting vintage. Now the snapbacks, you can catch a bunch of fish on them, but like I said, they don't hook up on the hooks right. They're just not cool. Not cool in that, in that regard. Let's get some chunks. Now, I, when I got into fishing jigs, I went hard. I went hard on jigs. And I, I would fish chunks and stuff, like jig and pigs. Back in the day, look at that. What was I doing right there with that? Probably throwing a little finesse jig. That's a cute little piece of plastic. All right, that is that is complete on the one side. We still got a whole other side in here. Get another sip of coffee to power through the second side. Oh yeah. Oh, we even have a front zipper. We might have a bonus item. Bag's a little crusty. No, nope, nothing. And zipper just broke. We got, here's the old school. This is the old school. LFT lure package right there. There's some tubes in there. Green and chartreuse tubes. Woo! That's that's the one that Stephanie does not like right there. That garlic smell. Especially right now when she's pregnant. Oh my gosh, guys. Smells. It's kind of a big deal. Just let you know. Just learning these things. I do remember this one. I used to buy these probably like every month when I first started fishing tournaments. Um, and I would, I would go out to the lake and I had my little aluminum boat. This was my go-to when it was tough. When I would do night fishing tournaments, this was my go-to. It's, go it's a culprit uh, six inch worm. That, that's color is weird. What is it? Crawdad, crawdad color. I would get that and I think red shad. It's so small. That's like the, that's tiny. That was uh, one of my go-tos right there. And hey, I know some of you have been commenting about my speech and stuff kind of being slurred or whatever. Yeah, yeah, that might be the case, um, especially when I get cold. So when I had brain surgery, I did not know that they were gonna cut a tendon in my jaw. So I really wasn't able to open my jaw very much. I don't know if it's still fully recovered. Anyways, when it gets cold, it's kind of hard to talk, open my mouth. It's kind of cold in here right now. So. If I slur my speech just now, I am I am not high on silver bullets. I have just uh, had some things going on in my brain and jaw. Centipedes. I used to throw these a lot too. Carolina rig, like the simplest bait ever. Uh, that's made by Zoom. That's That color's called Green Gourd. We're gonna throw it back here with some old school power bait. Y'all look at that, look, look. I think that one's unopened. That is, that's motor oil. Proven most powerful scent and flavor. I guarantee you there's been a lot of bass. A lot of big bass caught on these right here. There's something with power bait. I don't know what it is, but fish will actually eat it. Like, they'll consume it. I have seen whole bags that have been tumped over the side of a boat and fish eat the whole bag. Like, I've caught bass that have just a whole bag of power bait lizards or worms just coming out of them. Got some more gulp. Oh yeah, these are shriveled too. Those used to be something. I think this is what I caught my first bass. And it was for sure what I caught my first five pound bass on. It wasn't this color. Watermelon seed, I believe. But this is a Zoom regular size brush hog. That right there, my daddy got me a pack of thems. Showed me how to rig, Texas rigs. There wasn't a whole lot of creature baits back then, so this was this was one of the ones you threw. I can put some extra scent in there. Gosh, that brings back memories, man. It's weird how smell, but I can remember just pond fishing with these guys and just catching them in the summertime. Man! What's going on here? Tomato core. Tomato core worm. What in the world? Man, I threw some weird stuff back then. Look at this thing. This is wild, man. This is really wild. Like, look at the, look at the insides of that. It's, it's literally like a tomato color on the inside and then a chartreuse on the outside. That's wild. Like, I, I don't think I've seen a color like that since then, since back in the day. Maybe I was on to something. 
Probably not, since there's a full bag. I want you to go leave a comment down below if any memories were sparked or you found something interesting in here. You got any questions or comments? Do it. And I want to give it away to one of you guys. Uh, put this in a box and ship it to you. I'll sign it. Knock the cobwebs off of it. And I think it'll be uh, pretty cool. I mean, I don't need this anymore. It just brought back memories. I at least got to share them with you. Well, I gotta be hitting the road to go make some more content for you guys, but I just want you to know, I thank y'all for being here. I thank you for your support. A lot of stuff's going on, and I need your support right now. And I also got a big, big day coming up here in the next few weeks, going in for the first post-operation uh, scan, doing a brain scan to make sure that old Willis isn't coming back. That's gonna be a big day, so uh, stay tuned for that. Keep me in your prayers on all that stuff and with the with the baby. Also, brand new things coming at you right now. The Favorite Fishing LFG Signature Series Make Every Cast Count Fishing Freak Rod is finally here. I just got word and we don't have very many of them. Uh, I only have a few. I've been testing them out, checking them out. Uh, I can't even get my hands on that many. Uh, so there's a small batch of them available. There's only going to be about 50 or 60 or so and uh, we are going to give you guys the first crack at them and I'll probably do a whole other video on them but since you guys are here for the end of the video you're hearing about it first because you're freaking awesome and I was going to tell you about the other thing but I'll tell you in the next video there's too much stuff going on in this one but I hope you guys enjoyed being here today do a little throwback on the old worm bag and make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll catch you guys on the next one